I lost all faith in this species and in my nation's culture a long time ago. I, I found that, uh, you know, artistically, tell you the truth, as a writer, it gives you an emotional separation from the outcome. A lot of comedians I hear, when they complain about stuff, they seem to imply that everything could be all right if we just do this or just do that. I don't care. It's never going to work. It's, it, there's no, if you think there's a solution, you're part of the problem. That's uh -huh. what I believe. <laughs> so would you say that you hate people? I mean, is that a fair thing to say? No, no. Individually, I love them. Every person I meet, I, I sort of like... I, I'm not, I'm not trying to be corny here, but I see the universe in them. You can see a part of everything and everyone, and they're just wonderful to look in their eyes. And, but when they start to group, when they get into clots, when there's, for instance, groups even as small as two, <laughs> what happens is they begin to surrender the beauty of the individual for the sake of the group. People change, and, uh -huh, uh -huh. and then the bigger the group, as the group gets bigger, 6, 8, 12, 15, 100, 15,000, they begin to have hats, armbands, <laughs> little slogans, lists of people they don't like, and it uh -huh. gets out of hand. Uh -huh. So I'm in favor of people one by one, but in large groups, I would like to see them disappear. Oh, so that's where you want the comet all comet. met through the ozone layer. We have to get back to the ferrets.